Hey there, I'm Tony. Hey, I'm Kendall. Welcome back to the channel. Today it's really hot mm -hmm. and we are at a cafe about 11 minutes outside of Old Town in Chiang Mai. So if you're looking at Old Town, it would be to the left about 11 minutes, uh, just south of Neiman. And uh, we're enjoying, I'm, I, what did I get? You got a strawberry soda. Yeah, strawberry soda. And I got my Thai tea that I always <clears throat> get. I love Thai tea. Yeah, and I tried to use my, one of the words in Thai that I've learned was strawberry. So I'm like, ooh, I'll order this one and say it in Thai. I said it in Thai and she kind of looked at me like she didn't know what I said. I'm like, okay. So then he said it in English and she understood. And then she understood. That was kind of a waste, but whatever. <laughs> but you know what? Today is Thursday. We know how to say Thursday now. How do we say that? I'm going to let you say it. Wan Paru Hat Sabadi. Yeah, that's so. a mouthful for Thursday. Yeah. I'm going to be getting the sweat off me on this oh, one. Oh, and look, we got full-size napkins here too. So, I was, this is the first time I've seen a big napkin like this someplace. So, yeah, so good that, job, number 39. Yeah. Yeah, so it's funny, this place is called you know, Number 39 Cafe, so I don't know where number 38 is, or if there is one, or number 40, but we are at 38. 39? I mean 39. <laughs> Man. You can know 38. Yeah, they should have rounded it to maybe 40 or something, I'd remember it a little bit better. But uh, So let's uh, go ahead and show you uh, around the place a little bit, and here's what it looks like. So they're definitely a cafe here. They do have uh, some foods. I think they've got mm -hmm. a, a burger. Uh, and a I think like a pork burger, pork burger, hamburger, some desserts. Yeah, it's, it's mostly fries. a drink place. Yeah. You're having your little Thai tea, mm -hmm. you know, as always. So funny story, though, before we go any further. Um, Kendall, as you know from previous videos, loves her cow soy. And I always put, like when we go to a restaurant, uh, for cow soy and you have to put the ingredients on yourself, I'll always put the spices, the peppers, the whatever on for her. She's never had to do it. And when we get uh, to-go orders, and you've seen one of our videos, if you, you may have seen it in the past where we had cow soy, you saw me put it in there. Uh, well, Kendall, yesterday... I just, decided to spice things up a little bit. Well, you decided to put in, I was outside getting a, was it a order Lazada from Lazada? Order. Yeah. It's kind of like Amazon. Anyway, I was outside doing there and Kendall thought, well, I'll go ahead and do everything like Tony does. So instead of, I always put half a teaspoon of the super hot pepper. What so did she do? So on his, I just did the regular teaspoon, whatever. On mine, I did double that. So I started eating it. And this is and, what it and, looked like? A few minutes later. This is what it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> Hacking. Choking. <laughs> My throat's on fire. Now there was some confusion in the past when I was getting my driver's license. I thought I was good to go for um, driving and I thought I was good to go for motorcycle or there wasn't much I needed to do. So that's why you hadn't really seen me drive the uh, the motorcycle much because I didn't have a motorcycle driver's license. So I got together with Assist Thai Visa and they had me enroll in a school called Chiang Mai KW Driving. And I was able to do a two day driving course there and uh, they, have, they have the course to where you're inside and you're on a computer 
and you're learning all the questions. Um, on the first day, there were 600 questions or, that I had to answer, and I had to study 600 questions. So on day one, there was a total of 1,200 questions that I had to do, and they showed us other you know, videos on safety, and you know, they showed us gory accidents. <laughs> I mean gory, like they showed videos of people getting hit on uh, motorbikes and hitting telephone poles as they went through the air. It was very oh. graphic, really nasty. Um, so I did that for two days. And they also have a, uh, an outside area where I was able to take their, the motorbike on a course that they have there. It's a little small course, but it's enough to, for them to teach you a few things. So that went okay, except for one part. I've, I'm not good at everything, nobody ever is, but I found one more thing that I really stink at. How bad? I was last out of, I don't know, 30 people on this particular exercise. And what it is, it's this yellow line, and uh, I don't know how far it is, but it's not very far. And it's about two, two inches up, about like that. And what you're supposed to do is go really slow on this thing and not falling off. It's kind of like, like a, a balance beam. Yeah, it's like a balance beam. And you're supposed to go real slow. You can't go fast on it. You got to go slow. And everyone seemed to do pretty good on this except for me. This is what it looked like when I attempted it. I think it's either five or six times you're about to see before I actually did this thing. I guess we're just starting the bike and coming to this red or uh, stop sign. And then where are we going? Well, I lost the dude in front of me. Now I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. Maybe this way? Yep, that's the guy that was in front of me. Stop and... All right, so this thing coming up, you see that person right there? That's that thing that I screw up just like that guy just did. Boy. It's kind of embarrassing when you mess it up. Let's see how everybody else does. So you have to go slow. He's doing good. Oh, even if he falls off there, he still did really good. Uh, he did it. Great. All right, here we go. It's nice having an audience watch you too. All right, this time I'm gonna relax, stare straight ahead, not at the yellow line, and try to go slow. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't know it. Okay, this time I'm just gonna ignore the line. Just act like I'm just driving there to that dude. <laughs> I start leaning inside. So keep them in.
Okay, we're down to all of us people who can't do it. He said that my legs needed to be in, that I'm throwing them out, which I am, to try to balance myself. And he says that's the wrong thing to do. All right. Here we go. I have just... I know, it's like... <clears throat> Almost. I don't know why that's so hard for me. It's driving me crazy. Cap gun crap. Now go park it. Okay. All right, so I'm last in the class on that event. Yay. Well, that's when you take a big piece of humble pie and you swallow it whole. So as you could see, I really, really stunk at doing that. Um, once I got back on the computer though, after my disgraceful attempt at trying to get that done, um, we got to go over some questions and some of them were a little bit difficult. Now I know that they're translating questions from Thai into English. Yeah, but which it doesn't always work so well. <laughs> it probably wouldn't hurt to have an English speaker check some of these things to see if it makes sense. Like I had a question and the question was, who is exempt from wearing a helmet? Well, the answer to that one was a monk or a novice. Now I did understand that one in English, okay, but let's think about that for a minute. So you don't have to wear a helmet as a monk. Okay, religious purposes, I'm cool with that. But a novice, so somebody who's <laughs> not good at driving a motorcycle, a novice, you don't have to wear a helmet. That doesn't make any sense to me, but that's the correct answer. So I guess if somebody was in Thailand and they got caught riding without a helmet, I guess you could just tell the police officer, I'm a novice and you'd be good to go according to that test question. Another question that I uh, read on there was, um, how could slow down and immediate stop help preventing road accident? Of course the answer is prevent risk of pedestrian cutting in front of you makes perfect sense to me. Um, I actually got that, uh, that question right because on these weird ones that I had no idea, I made sure to memorize what would be the correct answer. On most of the other ones, it's, it's basic common sense. Another question, what is the benefit of the rubber, rubber covering on the tire? Well, it prevents air leakage and dirt. Well, I never would have thought of that as an answer for why is there the reason for rubber tire? I would have said, for grip on the road so you don't slide around to keep control of the car. No, that's not the right answer. And one more question they had is when there is, con when there is traffic congestion during nighttime, what should you do to prevent the blurry vision of the driver in the car behind you due to your brake lights? Well, the answer is to alert vehicles behind of the Clarkins. I don't know what a Clarkin is. I don't know what a Clarkins is, but uh, I hope my Clarkins never <laughs> bothers anyone behind me. <laughs> Another question I had was, would you, what would you do if your car is blocking others while parking? Well, of course, you're going to park at neutral gear without pulling the handbrake. That will help from blocking <laughs> others. I'm sure there was some sort of translation issue there, but... Uh, I really wish they would have run that by someone who has English as their first language ahead of time.
So let me tell you what happened though when I was going to day one at the school. As you can see in this video, I am leaving the house and you can see that my license plate tag is on and I'm leaving and I'm all dressed and ready to go. So anyway, I go to the school, no big deal. I did notice that the, um, there was a lot of rattling once I put our, our tag, our license plate tag on the motorcycle because we just received it like a day before. Yeah. So I was coming home and I'm thinking, you know, wow, I'm glad that rattling worked itself out. It's good. So I was driving it on, on back home, no problems there, parked it, then, and that was on a Sunday. Next day was Monday and the school was closed. So Tuesday morning I got up early and I go out to the motorcycle, take off the cover and realize my tag is gone. <laughs> so apparently somewhere in my first maiden voyage going a long distance on the motorcycle, it must have rattled off and not only did it, was it my it license. It was the plate plus the tag that shows you paid your taxes. Yeah, all that was, was uh, connected to the mm -hmm. license plate. Gone on the middle of the road somewhere. I'm sure somebody picked it up. So I still can't ride my motorcycle. <laughs> so now I've got to figure out how to go to. Yeah, our neighbor is going to help you, take you to the DMV yeah. or somewhere to get the new plate. Could you, could you imagine going in there and saying, you know, what are you here for? Well, normally I just show them documents on what I was doing or what I was needing. You know, oh, license plate, uh, driving, and pfft, it just fell off. <laughs> and my uh, tax tag square just pfft, it's gone too. So I guess I'm going to have to take care of that here soon. Good news is though, at the end of the two days, I did pass the test. Yep. I do have my driver's yep. license for both car and motorbike. Yeah, we went yesterday and you got the motorcycle license. It was actually, that part was fairly easy. Yeah, you just hand them your, mm -hmm. your documentation, they give you yeah, a number. Yeah, you go on the second floor at the DMV. And, and just uh, wait for them to call, call it and you're, yeah. you're good. So, so all that's good. Now I just have to go back again to get a new plate and to get a new tax bill. So yeah. this is what's going on with us, with us for right now. Well, <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we appreciate it if you would subscribe if you yes. haven't already. We really and, uh, appreciate all everybody who's subscribed, who's liked do. our videos, who's watched them. Thank you so very much. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So, as we like to end our videos, Kapkunka. Kap